What is up guys, Phoenix here, and welcome back to another Pixlar tutorial for Tanjiro from Demon Slayer. So the Pixlar is coming together pretty nicely as it currently stands. Um, we only have the hair to do, and then we're done. So, um, we had to do the left part of the uh, earring and the right part of the earring to finish up the, uh, the part last time. But I forgot that there was some hair that goes underneath the earring, so we're going to do that before we jump into the shading. So let's go to the left side where we have the earring to start off. <clears throat> Sorry about that. And what we're going to do to start it off is you can see the slant of the neck right here where we have all these singles that kind of uh, linger to the right of the earring. And what I want you to do is from the top, we're going to find the second single. So you can see right here we have this two vertical, then the single start. Let's go to the second one right here. And what I want you to do is put two going below it with coal. One, two. Once you have that, we're going to be going down into the left, so put your placement block to the bottom or left side, so we can go down into left 2 vertical, 1, 2, down into left 2 flat, 1, 2, and from this 2 flat, we're going to put another layer of 2 flat below it, like so, except from this layer, what we're going to do is we're going to add 1 to the left, and then we're going to add an extra 2 to the right, all right? Now, for there's going to be two spikes in his hair on each side of the neck. So this is the first spike we're going to finish right now. And then we have another one. Then we'll go to the opposite side. So from here, what we're going to do is we're going to go all the way to the right side right here. And we're going to go up and to the right, four flat. One, two. Oops. Two, three, four. Perfect. So once you mar um, have that four flat placed, we're going to mark it because we're not done with it yet. We're going to go to that. And starting from the left side, we're going to count two blocks over. One, two. And we're going to add a single piece of coal underneath there. <clears throat> From that single, we're going to go down into the left three more singles. One. Whoops. One. Two. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry that my blocks are all over the place. Three. Down into the left three flat. One, two, three. And from that three flat, we're going to do another layer of three flat right below it like so. We're then going to add an extra two to the right. One, two. From there, we're going to go down and to the right, five flat. One, two, three, four, five. And then we can go through and delete all the dirt blocks now. So as you can see from the right-hand camera screen, you can see the two tufts of hair that are kind of spiky on this left side. We need to do the same thing on the right side, and then we can work on all the shading. So, Going over to the same kind of spot on the right side where we have all those singles near the earring. <clears throat> Instead of the second single this time, what we're going to do is we're going to work with the two vertical that is right before the singles. So this part right here, let me mark it for you. So you can see the singles rise up and to the right, and then it starts with this two vertical right here. That's exactly what we want. So underneath that two vertical, we're going to switch to our coal and put two underneath. One, two. We're then going to go down into the right one single, down into the right two flat, and from that two flat we're going to put another layer of two flat below it, kind of like what we did to the left side, except this time what we're going to do is we're going to put one to the right and four to the left. One, two, three, four. Now with this four to the left we're going to finish this tuft of hair, but we're also going to start the new ones. So. The way we're going to do that is, and actually wait, um, let's add an extra one to the left. Sorry about that. So it's five. So it touches this block at the diagonal. We want it to touch this block at the diagonal. Once we have that going, we're going to go all the way to the end right here to this block that's touching the diagonal and we're going to put one on top and one below it. So if I zoom out, you can see what it looks like from the one below. We're going to go down into the right now, so let's put our placement block to the bottom or right side. And we're going to go down into the right two singles. One, two. Down into the right two flat. One, two. Down into the right one single. One. Down into the left one single. One. And then down into the left eight flat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. So now, if I zoom out, you can see that the neck and everything below on the lower part of his body is completely done. 
I'm trying to see any parts of detail that I might have missed, but it looks like everything is fine. So that's very, very, very good. But now we have to do the hardest part of the build, which is the shading that goes into his hair. So this part is very confusing and it's going to take a lot of steps. But what I want you to do first is um, go to the left side of the build and that's where we're going to start. All right, so we're going to work clockwise, starting with the lower left of the hair. Then we're going to just go up and to the left, then to the top, then back all the way to the right side. That way I can make sure I cover all details of the hair without messing up anything. So first off, what we're going to do is we're going to find the left part of his ear where we have this uh, one of the first spikes we have. It's this seven flat hanging right here. So let me just kind of mark it. It's kind of hard to... Uh, distinguish these spikes but it's in the middle of the ear as you can see not this one that's just kind of hanging with the three singles we have this first seven flat before we start spiking up then if we go to the up and to the right from that there should be this two flat connected over here and that's where we want to work with so once you have that spot identified what we're going to do is from the right block in that two flat we're going to put two pieces of coal going up from it so one two from there, we're going to be going up and to the right one single. So let's put our placement block to the right or top side. Up and to the right three vertical. One, two, three. From this three vertical, we're then going to go up and to the right 12 vertical. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Let's delete this placement block. <clears throat> We're then going to go up and to the left three vertical. One, two, three. Up and to the left two vertical. One, two. Up and to the left five vertical. One, two, three, four, five. And from this five vertical, what we're going to do is actually on the second block from the bottom, we're going to put one to the right. And from the second to last and the last block from the top, what we're going to do is put two blocks to the left, or one block to the left of each of those, my bad. And then we're going to add an extra six to the top of that. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So that's going to kind of hang by itself, but we're going to drop back down to the single we added to the right, and we're going to work with there. There's a lot of intricate spacing on the, uh, the, the hair right here, so just stay with me, and everything will eventually connect to where it's supposed to. Anyways, from there, what we're going to do is from the single, we're going to go up and to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pieces of coal. So let's put our placing block to the right or top side so we can go up and to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we'll delete the old blocks. From there, we're going to go up and to the left seven vertical. So let's put our placing block to the left or the top side of the final block. One, two, three four, five, six, seven. And then to finish this off, we're gonna go up and to the left one single. As you can see, it touched down with something we already had waiting there. That's gonna be a lot of the case of what we're doing right now. Um, it's pretty weird because uh, it this is part of the outline, but we're gonna have to figure out where things get colored in and where things get left black. And you'll, you'll kind of see the spacing on it when we finish the find the final part or when we're going to the final part and I show you the coloring I think the best way to do it is to color in all the red first or all the black first and then color everything else in after that so I'll do the spacing right here and then when we get to that part of the build you'll you can decide which one you want to color based off of the finished build if you want to do all the red hair first then the black or if you want to do all the black hair first and the red all right now where we did um, put that single we're gonna mark that because we're gonna come back to that later but there is another piece of the hair down into the left right here that I want to color in. So the way we're going to access that is we're going to go down its left from what we just built. And if you can see where we have more spikes in the hair, this first spike down where I'm swinging at now is where we built the first one. But if we go up into the left, you can see we have about one and then this big swoop right here. And this big swoop is where we're going to want to work with. We're going to go to, let me just kind of mark it on the right hand camera screen so you can see what we're working with this corner of his hair pretty much i think that's enough blocks place where you guys can see where i'm working with but what i want you to do is follow along this slant where i just placed the blocks so you can see there's two flat right here there's another two flat right here um let's choose which one do i want to work with let's work with the first one actually let's work with this bottom set of two flat right here 
and we're going to put three pieces of placement block to the right of it. One, two, three, followed by one piece of coal, and that's where we're going to start. You can delete all the other dirt blocks now. Those were just used to help you guys locate where you're at. Like I said, this is very confusing. Um, don't feel bad if you need to rewind and watch this multiple times. So from this single, what we're going to do to start off is we're going to put one piece of coal below it. So that becomes two vertical like that. And we're going to use that to start building our little shading spot. First off, we can bring the top block to the wall by going up and to the right two singles. So we'll do that right now. One, two. And then we'll get to the real difficult part, which is the bottom half of this. So we're going to be going down into the left first. So let's put our placement block to the bottom or left side. And we're going to go down into the left two singles. One, two. Down into the left two flat two times in a row. One, two, that's one. One, two, that's two. From this second set of two flat, we're going to go to the right block here. And we're going to put one underneath. And then one to the right. Perfect. And then we're going to continue going down into the right from here. So we can put our placement block to the bottom or right side. So first we're going to go down into the right two flat and we're going to do that one, two, three, four times in a row. So one, two, that's one, one, two, that's two. Remember it's four times in a row. One, two, that's three, one, two, that's four. Always just clean up your workspace before continuing. And then from that two flat, we're going to go down into the right three flat. One, two, three down into the right one single. And if you can see it is touching a wall right here, but just pay attention to what blocks are newly placed and you should be fine. From that single, we're gonna go down into the left, so away from the wall, four vertical. One, two, three, four. Down into the left, two vertical, two times in a row. One, two, that's one. Let's put a placement block on the bottom or left side. One, two, that's two. And now we should touch the wall by going down into the left three singles. One, two, three. Perfect. So there aren't, a, it looks very confusing, which is why I was so scared to do this part in the first place. But I think the method I'm currently doing it is very, very good. So this should be fine for me to build with you guys. Um, there are a little bit, there's a lot of little tiny segments, but they are small. So anyways, what we're going to do now is go to that block where the single we marked, the first part of the shading in the hair. Remember, we marked this right here. And we're going to connect to this two vertical that it's touching and go to the top block in that, so this block right here, and add two pieces of coal to the left. One, two. And you can mark those just in case. These are all the shading spots. And you can delete that single block now if you want to, or that single marker. We're going to be working with this two flat right here. First off, we're going to add an extra block to the left right here, again. And from this extra block, we're going to put one below and one on top. From that block below, we're going to wrap up with it by going down into the left, one single. And then from the block on the top, we're going to start arching up into the right. So let's put our placement block to the right or top side. And we're going to go up into the right two vertical three times in a row. So one, two, that's one. One, two, that's two. One, two, that's three. And then we'll go back and clean up our space. Now we need to start flattening out before we touch the wall. So we're going to go up into the right one single. Placement block one. Up into the right two flat three times in a row. One, two, that's one. One, two, that's two. One, two, that's three. And if you look at the right hand camera screen, you can see it's mimicking the shape of the outer part of the hair but it's not touching it. And that's how we get our separation between the red and the black hair. From here, we're gonna go up into the right one single, up into the right three flat, one, two, three, and then up into the right one single again. Perfect. Now, as you can see, it is touching parts of the hair that we already built on. And this is how we can kind of find the next part to shade things in just by seeing where we touched down so the single we just placed touched this i think it's five strip right here and we're going to use this to kind of locate the next area we'll work on but let's go back down here and delete this two pieces of dirt block first because we're done with that and then if you need to make sure to save all right so the single did touch down on this five strip right here but what we're gonna, gonna what we're gonna do is follow this five strip 
all the way to the left over here where we have this three flat waiting. And once you have that three flat, that'll be the perfect place to start for this next segment. So we're gonna go to the first block in that three flat. So this first block will be on the left side. And we're gonna put two pieces of coal on top. One, two. From those two pieces of coal, we're gonna go up and to the right for single. One, two, three, four. And as you can see, it touched down on this block right here, but we're not done with it yet. What we do need to do next is, you see how it connected to this three flat? We're gonna go to the first block in this three flat. And what I want you to do is add four to the top of it. One, two, three, four. So you can see we just built this strip right here. Let me just kind of trace what we just did. We built that strip and it connected to this three flat. Then we went to the first block in that three flat and added four to the top. All right. From here, we're gonna go up and to the right one single. Whoops. Up and to the right two flat. One, two. And it should touch down on a wall. Perfect. Now, like I said before, we're going to keep using whatever we touch down on to uh, kind of find the next point on which we want to build the frame. So once we have this two flat right here, it actually touches down on a wall. We can use that wall to locate our next area because on the exact opposite side of here. So we just go to the exact opposite side of this wall right here. We're going to put three placement blocks to the right. One, two, three. Followed by one coal. And just like that, we're ready to start shading again. So from this one coal, we're gonna put one on top and one below. And then we're first gonna work with the bottom half of it and then start bringing it back up. So we're gonna go to the bottom and put a placement block down there. And we're gonna go down into the right, four singles, one, two, three, four. And then down into the right, two vertical, one, two. And as you can see, it touched down, which is fine. We don't have to worry about marking this. Instead, what we're gonna do is, actually, do we have to worry about marking it? Let me just make sure. No, we don't, okay. Uh, we're gonna use the top half of it, the top half that we're about to build to finish the shading. So let's go back up and trace all the way to the top of the three vertical and put a placement block right on top. I had to do a bit of a jump cut there because of uh, recording issues. So if you ever see any jump cuts, you already, I always say this in every video because I don't know which video is new. Not everybody watches every video. But if you guys watch a bunch of my anime videos, you probably heard this multiple times. Um, whenever I do a jump cut, it's either to cut out obnoxious audio. So uh, give me the benefit of the doubt that the cuts are to, for, for the good of the video. It's for you guys. So anyways, from these three vertical, what we're going to do is we're going to continue going up into the left, which is why I think I put the placement blocks there. Um, so we're going to go up into left three vertical. One, two, three. Up into the left seven vertical. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we're going to start zigzagging up into the right and then back in. So what we're going to do is put our placement block to the right or the top side. Um, I suggest keeping it on the right for now. Just in case we switch directions, we, um... Actually, no, just keep it on the right. I'm not going to explain it. Anyways, we're going to go up into the right two vertical. One, two. And then let me clean up the workspace. Up into the right one single. Up into the right two vertical. One, two. Up into the right one single again. And if you zoom out and look, since we started going to the right, we had the seven vertical right here, but then we went two, one, two, one. So it's a very repetitive pattern but we're gonna switch it up right here by going to this single and adding one block to the right of it. And from that one block to the right, all we're gonna do is put one on top and three below. One, two, three. From there, we're gonna go down into the right one single, up into the right three vertical. One, two, three. And as you can see, it touched some of the stuff we had at the diagonal, which is fine. We just want to, what we're building right now is just a clear separation between the red hair and the black hair. So you, you don't want things floating off in empty space. You kind of want everything to connect back. So to finish up this piece of the hair, all we're gonna do is from the top of this three vertical we just placed, 
we are going to go up and to the right five singles one two three four five up and to the right two vertical one two and then we're going to finish this by going up and to the right two singles one two perfect so um, there is a little bit of a gap right here as you can see but it's it's okay we just want it to be done kind of on this diagonal we only have about five more sections or I want to say four more sections of the shading to do in the hair to be honest and that's good news because um, it's the some of the sections are gonna be long but they're, they're they're very easy to do from here on out so what I want you to do is where that last single you placed was we're gonna just use grass blocks for marking but I want you to find to the right of it so this is this the last one I placed and we're gonna go to the right of it and put one two three four five six seven pieces of placement blocks to the right one we have this one here so that counts as two three four five six seven I didn't delete that don't delete that coal block that's there just put a block over it we just needed to kind of count the spaces okay and then after we have those seven placement blocks what we're going to do is we're going to put two pieces of flat block or flat coal going to the right okay and that's gonna be where we start this part of the hair so it's gonna split into two directions at some point just bear with me <clears throat> I think it's gonna be easier to do the right part of this first and then the left half of the block so with the two flat we have right here we're gonna go to the right side of it and we're gonna go to above it and put one block on top from that one block on top we're gonna to add one to the right and then we're gonna go up into the right one single and that's it for the right block or from, from the right side very easy right next from the left block we're gonna go two below it so go underneath the left block and put one two just like that and now we have new blocks to work with we can either go to this middle block right here or this bottom block I think we're gonna work with the bottom block first because it's a lot easier to do so from this bottom block we're gonna go down into the left two singles one two down into the right two flat one two up into the right one single up into the right two flat one two and then up into the right one single again one and as you can see we touched the wall or whatever we had currently at the diagonal which is a good place to continue from it just helps shape out the spikiness of the air but now we can go back to that middle block that I said we we're gonna we could also work with <sighs> sorry about this uh, oh my goodness I need to rest more but yeah from that bottom block I mean that middle block what we can do is we can go to it and go to the left side and we can actually put two pieces of blocks of coal to the left one two from there we're gonna be going down into the left and down into the right so I suggest you put your placement block on the bottom each time and you should be fine so first off we're gonna go down into the left from here one single From that single we're gonna put our placement block underneath <clears throat> so that we can go down into the left two vertical one two placement block down to left two singles one two placement block down into left two vertical again one two placement block and you can see it's getting really repetitive right now just hang in there guys though just hang in there and you will be rewarded it's very very easy from here on out all right from there we're gonna go down into the left one single placement block down into the left two vertical two times in a row this time so one two that's one put a placement block on the bottom or left side one two that's two make sure you go back and delete the placement blocks and don't do what I do and keep on deleting the coal every time from here we're gonna go down into the left one single and then we're gonna go down into the left three vertical one two three and that's gonna be the start of switching directions so from here we're gonna be going to the right side so if you had your placement block on the bottom like I said you should be fine but if it was on the left side you're gonna to want to switch to the right side so from here we're gonna go down into the right three vertical we're gonna actually do that three times in a row now so one two three that's one one two three that's two and finally one two three that's three and let's go back now and delete these placement blocks and then we're gonna go down to the right two vertical one two 
down and thread one single, down and thread two vertical again, one, two, and then finally down and thread one single. And that's it for this curve. We're gonna go, actually we're gonna stay right here. Make sure you mark that last single so that we can know where we're gonna use to go to the next part of the shading block. All right, just zoom out, make sure your thing looks kind of like this and you should be just fine. So where we left off with that single, uh, we are going to actually use that spot to kind of find the next area we want to add shading to. So you, if you can see to the right of where we just added that last single, we have this long strip right next to it. Um, I don't know how long it is. I want to say nine blocks in length, but probably 10. And what we're going to do is on this 10 strip right here, starting from the top, we're going to actually count four blocks down. So one, two, three, four. Sorry about that. And on that fourth block, we're going to go to the right side and add a coal. And that's where our shading is going to start right there. So if you zoom out, you can see it. This is the one single from the last piece of shading. All we did was go to the right and we use this long strip that's connected to it to find our next spot to build off of. So from that one single, we're going to be going up into the right from here. So let's put our placing block on the right or top side. And we're going to go up into right three vertical. One, two, three. Up into right four vertical. One, two, three, four. Up into the right one single. One. Now let's go back and delete some of these dirt blocks. Sorry if I seem like I'm going a little bit fast or a little bit uh, faster because I don't think I'm going too fast. It's just that as I'm recording, I've had lots of interruptions and I want to get this part done for you so that at least I can have two back to back uploads and finish the videos. And I don't know if I'm going to upload for a while, but at least I'll have this series complete. From this single, we're going to go up into the right two vertical two times in a row. One, two, that's one. One, two, that's two. We're then gonna go up into the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven singles. Jeez, that's a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Notice I didn't use the dirt blocks, but you could use the dirt blocks as placement blocks there. It's just a lot easier for me to go with like a smooth transition that way. We're still gonna be going up into the right though, so let's put our placement block there. As we go up into the right two flat, one, two, up into the right one single, up into the right two flat two times in a row. So one, two, that's one. Let's put our placement blocks down. One, two, that's two. And let's go through and delete these dirt blocks real quick. From here, we're going to go up into the right six flat. And yeah, it's six flat. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it gets a little bit complicated right here from this six flat we've created. First off, we're gonna go to the third block from um, on the right side, we're gonna count back three blocks. So one, two, three. And on this third block, we're gonna put one below it. Then on the second to last and the last block, we're gonna put one above each of those. One, oops, one, one. So it should look something like this. Now we can mark this bottom block because we're going to continue with that in a second. But the top block, we're going to just do a little bit of zigzagged um, shape and then we're going to go back to the bottom block. So from each of these singles, what we're going to do is we're just going to add one to the right. So now we have this dangling space right here. And then we're going to finish this up by going up into the right three flat. One, two, three. And then up into the right one single. One. Now from this bottom block of single we had, we can go down into the left from it, two more singles. So one, two. Then we're gonna switch direction by going down into the right three flat. One, two, three. Up into the right five flat. One, two, three, four, five. Up into the right eight flat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And from this eight flat, what we're gonna do is go counting from the left side I want you to find the fourth block. So one, two, three, four. And from that fourth block, we're gonna put one below it and use that to keep on making the spike shape. So once we have that now, all we're going to do is we're gonna go down into the left one single, down into the right eight flat again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if you see the right hand camera screen, you can see we're getting really, really close to touching the, the outline right here, so that's good. All we're going to do is we're going to continue going down into the right 
So put your placement block to the bottom or right side. Three flat. One, two, three. Down into the right two flat. Two times in a row. One, two, that's one. One, two, that's two. Down into the right one single. And then finally down into the right two flat. Once you have that complete, you can go back and delete the dirt blocks. And you can also look at the right hand camera screen to see if everything shaded in the way it's supposed to. I believe it did, so you should be fine. Um, however, we are going to use that last set of two flat. So if you want to mark it, you actually should have marked it. So that we can use it to find the next spot of shading. And I did tell you that the next parts are going to be lengthy, but I think we only have two spots left. Yeah, so we have one more really, really lengthy shading spot to do. And then another one after that, and we should be done. So just hang in there guys. I do know this is very very tedious and some people are just eh about it, but um, It's gonna pay off. It's gonna pay off. It's gonna pay dividends. So that's good to see Anyways, what I want you to do is from the two flat we created right there We can go to the left block in it and I want to go underneath it and put four pieces of placement block Going straight down now. We do have this row of three right here. So this counts as one already below it we're just going to count three more underneath it. Two, three, four. So you can see we did go four below it, just we didn't delete this this dirt blocks or this coal. It's still important to keep that there. After those four, we're going to put one piece of coal. And then you can delete those dirt blocks if you want. From this one piece of coal, we're going to put one to the right. And I think it's going to be easier if we go and work with the left side of this first and then start working with the right side. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to be going up into the left and then down into the left from here. So I want you to just put your placement block on the left side and you should be fine. So it doesn't matter what direction. So first off, we're going to go up into the left two flat. One, two. Placement block on the left side. Up into the left one single. Up into the left seven flat. One, two. Whoops two three four five six seven place some block on the left side and now we're going to be going back down but you don't need to change the direction of the place and blocks because it's still on the left side so we're going to be going down into left five flat next one two three four five down into left four flat two times in a row one oops one two three four that's one one two three four that's two delete delete down it's left two flat three times in a row one two that's one one two that's two one two that's three down it's left one single down it's left two flat down it's left one single again and then down it's left two flat two times in a row one, two, that's one. One, two, that's two. And if you can see it touch that top wall at the diagonal, which is just fine. All we need to do is when we're connecting these blocks, always just focus on the diagonals. So once that's done, you can actually go to the right side of what we've been working on, where we have this two flat kind of waiting, the initial two flat we started with. And we're gonna be going down into the right from here on out, or a little bit of down into the left. So I want to say put your placement block underneath, but you know, um, just pay attention to my instructions and you should be fine. So we're going to be going down to the right two flat. One, two. Down to the right three flat. One, two, three. And from this three flat, what I want you to do is from each block, we're going to put one underneath. And once you have that placed, what we're going to do is we're going to put two on the left side and two on the right side of this three flat. So one, two, that's one. And on the right side, one, two, that's two. From the left side of this now newly created seven flat, what we're gonna do is put our placement block underneath so we can go down to the left one single. Down into the right one single. Down into the right four flat. One, two, three, four. Down into the right two flat two times in a row. One, two, that's one. One, two, that's two. And now from this second set of two flat, what I want you to do is go underneath it and we'll put a double layer of a single blocks, I guess. And then from that double layer, I want you to put two to the right. One, two. 
So now you can see in the right hand camera screen, it is just thickening up some of the, the jaggedness of his hair. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is in this little brick we've created, we're going to go all the way to the left side and put an extra single block underneath. Perfect. Once you have that, we're going to go down into the right four singles. One, two, three, four. Down into the right two vertical. One, two. Down into the right one single. Down into the right four vertical. One, two, three, four. Down into the right five vertical two times in a row. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're getting ready to flatten out some of the hair right here. So all we're going to do is we're going to go down into the right still, but get ready to start using flats. So we're first going to go down into the right four vertical. One, two, three, four. Down into the right three vertical. One, two, three. And you can see it's touching the wall very closely, but if you know which blocks you started with, you should be fine. From this three vertical right here, we're going to be putting our placement block to the bottom or right. So we can go down into the right three singles now. One, two, three. Let's delete these placement blocks. We're then going to go down into the right three flat three times in a row. So put your placement block to the bottom. One, two, three, that's one. Placement block again. One, two, three, that's two. Placement block again. One, two, three, that's three. Perfect. Seeing from the right hand camera screen, you can see now it's double layering, kind of following along what we have here. So we kind of need to bring it back now. So what I'm going to do is on this final set of three flat, we're going to go to the middle block and put one underneath it. <clears throat> and from there, we're going to finish up this final spike by going down its left two flat. One, two. Down its left two singles. One, two. Down its left two flat again. One, two. Down its left three flat two times in a row. So place and block to the bottom on the left side. One, two, three, that's one. Place and block again. One, two, three, that's two. And now we're getting really close to the wall. So all we're going to do is go down into the left three vertical. One, two, three. Down into the right four vertical. One, two, three, four. And as you can see, we're touching stuff at the diagonal or directly. Just remember which blocks you placed and you should be fine. And just keep following on that tangent. All we're going to do next is go down into the right one single, down into the right two vertical, one, two, and then down to the right three singles, and you should touch down one, two, three. So you can see it connected at the diagonal, which is perfect. And that also means we only have one more section of his hair before we are done with his hair completely. I do want to put some shading in on his forehead, but that's fairly quick. Um, so let's just jump right into the part that we're we're kind of scared of right now. Um, where is a good spot to start it at? If we go back up to where we just placed the three singles and trace it back, so we place these three singles right here, then we place this two vertical, then we place this one single, then we put this four vertical right here. Um, sorry about the backtracking, but from that four vertical, we can kind of use that to get to our next area because it's kind of close. So from this four vertical, let's go to the top block in it. So this one right here. And let me just zoom out so if you need to see where we're at. So you can see, just trace along those three singles, the two vertical, the one single, then the four vertical, and you should be okay. And the top block right here. We're gonna go to the left of this top block and put five pieces of placement block to the left. It doesn't have to be directly to the left of it. We just need to kind of have it to the left of it. So one, two, three, four, five. And if you can see, it's actually to the left of the top block in this three vertical we have over here. So that's how you know you did it correctly. So we have the, um, let me just put them back. One, two, three, four, five. And after the fifth block. So after the fifth block, we're gonna put our coal. Okay. Now that does have to go back into place, but let me just zoom out so you can see how things worked out. It is a bit confusing because I don't really have a reference point to start from. But um, yeah, so we had the four vertical right here and to the left of it, five spaces to the left. And then on the sixth space, we put the coal. All right, make sure things line up just like that. You should be fine. All right, so once you have that one block float floating right there, what we're gonna do is put two below it, 
one, two, and one above it, and then mark it. Because we can go and work from the top, but that's gonna be kind of extensive to do. As you can see, there's a lot of space up there. So we're gonna work with the bottom first off, and we should be fine. So working with the bottom, we're gonna put our placement blocks to the bottom or left side, but I suggest putting it to the bottom so that way if we go left or right, you can still keep your placement block down there. We're gonna go down into left nine vertical. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then a placement block on the bottom. Down into the right, two vertical, three times in a row. One, two, that's one. One, two, that's two. And then finally, one, two, that's three. And let's get rid of these dirt blocks. And then the final section right here is just going down to the right two singles. One, two. Perfect. So now let's go back up to the top of that little extension we marked, and we can work with the top blocks in it now and go up from it. So whether we go up and to the left or up and to the right, we're gonna keep our placement block on the top this time, and we should be fine. So first we're gonna go up and to the right, three vertical, one, two, three. Placement block on top. Up and to the right, four vertical. One, two, three, four. Placing block on top. Up and to the right, one single. Up and to the right, seven vertical. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Up and to the left. So we're still keeping the placing block on top. We're just switching the side we're working with. Two vertical. One, two. Up and to the left, four vertical. One, two, three, four. And what we're gonna do is from each block in this four vertical, we're gonna just add an extra one to the left side of it. So we kind of just double up right there, but we're not gonna stop there. We're also going to go above it and add three on top. One, two, three, and below it and add one below. So we have something that looks like this. We aren't gonna be working with the top. We're gonna be working with the single on the bottom by going down into the left one single. So we're gonna put our placement block on the bottom or left side one up and to the left four vertical now one two three four up and to the left two vertical and we're actually going to do that four times in a row so place and block on the top or left side one two that's one one two that's two one two that's three one two that's four and let's go back and delete these dirts quite a few of them <clears throat> Perfect, and if you see the right-hand camera screen, we are almost done. There's a little bit more to build. So from there, oh, my my, my uh, camera just turned off. Let me see if I can get that fixed for you. From those sets of two vertical, what we're then going to do is go up and to the left one single. Up and to the left two vertical two times in a row. One, two, that's one. One, two, that's two. Up and to the left one single again. And now it's going to arch back down to the right and then come back up. So what I want you to do is put a placement block to the right of this single. And on top of it and to the right of it, we're going to put a piece of coal. Like so. We're only interested in working with this block on the right though. Because we're going to use it to go... Stop stuttering. To go and point it down into the right. So from this single on the right, we're going to go down into the right from it one two three four five singles one two three four five now you can see we're really close to this wall right here and this actual fifth block is special because what we're going to do is put two on top of it one two and we're going to use this top block to start arching back up so let's keep our placement block on the top or left side and you should be fine and let's go up into the left three vertical two times in a row one two three that's one one, two, three, that's two. Up and to the left, two vertical. One, two. Up and to the left, four singles. One, two, three, four. And that's perfect. As you can see, it met up with something we already had designed in the build. So that's good. Um, I think we're actually done there. We're done with the hair. So that detail is gonna be filled in later and that's fine. When we go to the finished build, I'll show you what it looks like, but everything should be fine. Um, we still have to do some of the shading on the forehead, and the way we're going to do that, actually, is... Let me actually get the blueprint to show. Is we're going to go to the center of his forehead, where we have this extended 14 strip right here at the center. So you can see I'm marking it on the right-hand camera screen. 
It's exactly in the center of his build right before his little scar tattoo thing. Should be 14 in length. And we're gonna go to the final two blocks on the left side, so these two right here, and put an extra piece of coal below each of them. Now I'm not sure if this is going to be cold, so um, coal. So if you wanna use another block, I think it might be actually a uh, dark, um, dark, like a dark wood. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna make the judgment call and just say put like oak here or something right here. So that way you'll know when we're coloring it that if whatever color ends up being here is what's supposed to swap here, all right? So if it's not actually oak and it's end up being spruce or something, when I go over the colors, just make the swap, okay? So now that you have these two flats right here, we're gonna add an extra one to the left. And from here, we're gonna go down to the left three flat. One, two, three. Down into the left four flat. One, two, oops, two, three, four. Down into the left three flat again. One, two, three. Down into the left two flat. One, two. Down into the left three flat again. One, two, three. So this is kind of repetitive, but it's just creating a, a nice little shadow on the side of his face that I'm sure you guys, anime fans, can appreciate that. You guys love the anime shine, the sheen that, that goes on the character's hair, especially when I did it in Sarada's build. But anyways, from there, we're going to go down into the left two flat two times in a row. So place some block on the bottom on the left side. One, two, that's one. One, two, that's two. Down into the left one single. Down into the left two flat again. Down into the left one single. Down into the left two flat. Down into the left six singles. One, two, three, four, five, six. And if you get a little bit confused with this, guys, just remember this is just a little bit of a shadow. So even if it doesn't go perfect, as long as it has this oval shape or this half crescent shape, you should be fine. All right? So don't feel too crazy if you missed one. Just bring it to the wall and you should be fine. So from here, we're going to go down to the left two vertical three times in a row. One, two, that's one. One, two, that's two. One, two, that's three. And you can see we're getting really close to the wall. So all we're going to do is go down and left three vertical three times in a row. One, two, three, that's one. One, two, three, that's two. One, two, three, that's three. Really close to the eyebrow. And all we're going to do to bring it to the wall now is go down and left two vertical, then down and left three vertical. All right. So place some block on the bottom of the left side. One, two. Place some block on the bottom of the left side. One, two, three. And as you can see, it touched at the diagonal, perfect. So everything above this line and in between the coal will actually be this darker shade for his forehead. And everything below it will be his normal skin tone. That way we can get a nice little shadow on his forehead. So let's go and destroy these dirt blocks now. And we should have the finished build. This is the completed build right here. We're gonna go and jump into the colors. But let me just zoom out of my blueprint and make sure I have everything necessary. Yeah, this is, this is looking good. So actually, let me go and delete these dirt blocks too for myself, because these don't belong here. And what we're going to do is we're going to jump into the finished build. I'm going to go over the colors with you guys. The hair is going to be the most complex part, and the way I recommend doing it is either doing all the crimson color first and then coloring everything else black, or doing all the black color first and then coloring everything else crimson. But you'll see when we show the build, all right? So thank you guys for tuning in, and if you made it this far, congratulations. One quick note that I forgot to go over before we go into the colors, sorry about that, is above the nostrils, we have a little bit of shading that I want to show you. Let's go above the left nostril right here where we have this two singles right here. And on the left side of it, what we're going to do is go to this top one and put two placement blocks on top and then an oak plank on top. And we're going to use this oak plank for the shading. Like I said, the oak plank is going to represent the shaded colors. If we have to swap it out later when I go over the colors, just swap it out. But from this single, we're going to put another one on top. We're then going to go up into the right three vertical. One, two, three. Up into the left one single. Up into the left three flat. One, two, three. And from this three flat, we're going to go to this left block right here and put one underneath. We're then going to go down into the left one single. Down into the left three vertical. One, two, three. And now to lock out the shape, all we're going to do is on this left side, we're going to go down into the right three single. And on this right side, we're going to go down into the left one single. So let's go one, two, 
three. And on the right side, we're gonna go down. It's left one single, one, and that's perfect. Now you can color this little thing in. And it's just gonna be a little bit of a shadow above his nose that'll make his face kind of stand out because his face is kind of plain in certain areas. So that's why we have the shading effects in there. So we're gonna jump into the finished build and go over the colors. Thank you guys for tuning in once again and sorry about that interruption. On top of that little shading we did in the nose, there are a couple of other spots that I have to fill in. And also this is kind of like a future recording because I did go over the colors already, but it turns out the hair is very, very hard to go over with you guys. If you can see from the right hand camera screen, all those different segments are very hard to uh, describe to you guys in the form of um, just how I usually do the colors. So what I think I, I'll do is I'll actually go over certain colors in the hair with you in this view so that it's able for you to, um, so you guys can follow along. And then we'll jump into the finished build afterward. All right, so I'm sorry if you guys thought you were done. We have a little bit more building to do. First off, what we're gonna do is we're also gonna do some more shading on the face and the ears. So I want you to take the oak blocks we got and we're gonna go underneath the mouth and if you can see on the mouth, we have this, what is this, nine segment? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine on the bottom of it. And I want you to find the middle block in it. So that should be the fifth block. So one, two, three, four, five. Yep. And from that middle block, we're gonna put one underneath. And then we're gonna put an oak plank underneath that, like so. Once we have that oak plank, we're gonna add two to the left and two to the right of it. On the left side, we're gonna go down into the left one single. And on the right side, we're gonna go down into the right one single. Then on the left side, we're gonna go down into the right one single. Down into the right three flat, one, two, three. And then up into the right one single to lock out the shape. So kind of like what we did above the nose, we'll now fill that in. And now we have another spot for shading that's underneath the lip. All right, now what I wanna do is let's cover the actual uh, ear. And the way we'll do that is, um, let's go to the left ear slightly above that little square we have in the earring. We should have a five vertical waiting there. And what I actually wanna do is, and actually we don't need to shade the ear. I think we're gonna leave the ear alone. Um, there's a lot of weird detail here. But if you did wanna shade the ear, actually I'll just go over it now. Ugh. Where we have this five vertical, I'm gonna go to the bottom block. And I'm going to put two to the left of it. So let's find this five vertical first. Look at the right-hand camera screen. And you don't have to do this, by the way. If you want, you can just color the ear, the sandstone we're going to use, or the birch plank. But I'm just trying to see if people want to shade it. So on this five vertical, we're going to go to the final block on the bottom. And put two pieces of coal to the left. One, two. From that, we're going to go up into the left, two flat. One, two. And you can see it connected sort of into the wall, but we still need to bring it up. So where we have this two flat and this other two flat, it connected at this diagonal and we're gonna trace this up. So we're gonna go up into left one single, up into left one single, and then we're gonna do that about two or three more times until it hits this wall right here. So one, two. So it should look like this. And now what we're gonna do is in each of those little nooks and crannies, we're going to fill in oak planks. So above it is oak. So let me just show you where it goes. This little nook right here. It's about 15 blocks to place in there. That's the first spot. And then the second spot is this little four piecing uh, that's shaped like a sideways T. And you can zoom out and see where I colored it in. All right. The rest of the ear can be oak or birch, whatever you wanted to do. And it colors in right there. And then also this little extended spot right here is the ear as well. Now, if you wanted to do a little bit more shading, what you can do is in this little nook right here, it's so hard to see. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, so it's up and to the left from this four single. You can see this little, it's two pillars kind of. Where we have this three vertical right here, we can actually go up into the left from it and just extend that all the way up. So you see the three vertical we have? We're just gonna go up into the left from it with coal and extend it all the way up to that single, all right? Like so. And now that we've split this part into two segments, you can see this bottom segment down here and this right segment right here. The right segment's gonna get oak planks inside and the left segment can get your birch planks or sandstone. I think I use sandstone for the finished build 
So you might want to stick with that, but I'm just showing you where they go, okay? The other spots where the birch plank would go is right here, directly connected to the oak planks again, and down here, directly connected to the oak planks again. So it's very easy to kind of section off where the ear goes. Um, I think that me filling in this color with you will actually be a lot more helpful than um, me just showing you the finished build because you guys can actually see like when I fill in this right now you'll see where the gaps are from the hair because we have not touched the hair yet all right and that's it. that's just a little shading we did for the ear now for the right ear we're gonna do a, the same thing right above where we have this little square box for the earring we should have about a three or four vertical it's four vertical yep right here so you see above the box one two three four and on the lowest block in it so this one right here we're going to add one coal to the right we're then going to go up into the right three flat one two three up into the right one single up into the right one single again and actually let's continue that trend until we go into this wall over here so we're going to follow that all the way through so you can see we place these two singles so just mark them so you know where they're at and we're gonna keep going up and to the right from there so add another single if we added another single it would go right here then we'll put another one and then another one <laughs> another one so now using that you can see where we have our sections of where the oak plank splits and where the birch or sandstone would go so above where we just colored, this little triangle um, mountain shape is going to get oak planks in it. Watch the right-hand camera screen if you need to so you can see where exactly it fills in at so you don't overlap into the hair. Once again, you do not need to shade the ear like this. You can always just color it one color. And also this little section right here will now get oak in it as well. Now once you have that, everything below it, so this little weird shape right here underneath, will get the birch planks or sandstone. And the same thing happens over here with this oak. Everything below it gets the birch or sandstone as well. So once we have this filled in, we're actually going to go to the hair. And I'm going to fill in all the red with you guys. And everything that's not red will then be black. And I'm not talking about king concrete. I'm talking about... Um, oh, no, it's going to be black concrete. Okay. I mean, we're not going to use black coal. We're just going to use concrete. All right. So let's zoom out and see where we're at. And we're actually going to go start at the up left part of the hair. So just kind of go up into that part and we'll start right there. The final bit we're going to do for the ear is actually we're going to go. Did you see where this is kind of arcing with the, I want to say it's birch. Yeah, birch planks, the lighter planks. Um, there is a tiny part of his ear that we also missed right here. So follow this curve and up here where we have this downward pointing kind of brick. We're actually going to fill that in. So I want you to pay attention to where I'm placing it on the right-hand camera screen. See, that is the correct spot for the ear piece. It doesn't even look like it's part of the, the hair once I fill it in, but it's very confusing with all these empty spots there. So kind of just see it's two gaps over, and this brick with the piece pointing down is going to get filled in with birch. Now once we do that, we're going to go to the top left corner of his hair, and we're going to switch to the nether brick that we have in our inventory so that we can start coloring the hair. And for the nether brick, um, I think that's going to be the best place to start, where we color everything that's going to be red, red, and then after that we color everything black, or everything that's left over should be black. <laughs> so the easiest place to start and use to reference other places to build is actually this corner right here in the top left with these uh, sideways arching kind of... I don't even know what they are, but let me just mark them so you can see them. It's right after the final spike on the left side. Use my right-hand camera screen to kind of find it, and hopefully when I mark it right here, you can see it and find this little corner, because this is very important to uh, figuring it out. So you can see at the top left corner where we have this little bump, heart-shaped bump. We're actually going to fill that in on this lower half right here and this top half in with nether brick. And the way um, we already locked it in with the wall, so as long as you don't go past the wall with the um, where the coal is at, you won't mess up. So you see we fill this in and then above it as well, we're going to go up here and fill this all in with nether brick. And sorry if you hear any more background noise, I am going to try and edit out it once my radiator or heater starts acting up. Uh, it is the winter, so of course the, the heat system is going to be acting funny. 
But anyways, once you have this nether brick filled in, we're going to use it to locate the other spots that we're going to fill in nether brick. Just because there's so much to do here, it's hard to see visually. So next, we're going to drop to the lower part of the nether brick. And you see this directly connected area is going to get filled in with nether brick as well. Don't fill in any of the parts outside of the, um, the coal. So in this section right here, everything inside this layer gets filled in. The only exception to the crossover rule is going up into the right in this corner where we have these three flats right here. That's going to get nether bricked as well. But everything inside this layer right here is only going to get colored in. All right. So if you go outside of the coal, you're doing it wrong. So just fill everything in. And I think this is the easiest way to explain it to you guys. I still want to go into the finished build and show you guys uh, the colors. So if you guys need to see it for yourselves, you probably skip past this part and you might color it yourself. Or if you've colored it from the thumbnail, you might be just that good. But I do know it can be quite confusing, and I don't want anybody to get lost. Anyways, next section, what we're going to do is down into the right from this nether brick we just colored in, we're actually going to color in this upside down U shape as well. So let's go and do that. And it's easier to follow along with me as you see in the right hand camera screen as I'm filling everything in. So you see it's directly connected to the thing we just filled in, in the bottom right corner of it. We're just going to fill all of this layer in, and do not cross the coal all right the coal is your border for coloring if you hit the coal wall then you're done otherwise just keep filling everything in in this layer until everything is blocked in with the wall see perfect we're almost done with the bottom left corner of this and then once we're done and we reach the ear i want you to go back up to the point the the place we started at in the top left and we're actually going to go above it and fill in the nether brick going clockwise to the right side of his head all right but we still have one more section or so to do here so next what i want you to do is in the area we just filled in if you look it goes and curves down it's like kind of like a slant in the ear so the way what we're going to do here is we're going to find this three vertical that is connected kind of to what we just colored in this three vertical gap you see at the bottom of what we colored in there's this three vertical gap and it kind of connects to this two vertical gap, then another three, and it just goes down and curves out like that. That's actually all going to get filled in with another brick as well. So let's fill in that three, that two, the three again, then this extended block all the way down here. And it should start curving towards his ear. So we just follow this curve all the way while staying within the coal. And perfect. Okay. Now let's go back up to that section we just filled in. And actually, do you see these two spikes on the left side of his hair? You can see that there's two points in there. We have an outer layer and an inner layer of it. The outer layer is going to be all red or nether brick. So let's go and color the outer triangle. So this big fat one on the left side with the nether brick. Stay within the borders and also just kind of look at the right hand camera screen if you need to. You can see where I'm coloring it in only the outer layer the inner layer is going to be concrete or black concrete and that should give it the uh, darkening effect that tanjiro's hair has all right so let's just do this layer up real quickly um if you always need to pause and go back just make sure you take your time because you do not want to mess up the hair i know a lot of people spend a lot of time coloring and it can be very very frustrating um we're gonna follow even though i said stay within the co um the coal border we're gonna follow this because this is still the outer layer all the way down here and down into the left so let's curve down into this two flat gap right here into this three flat gap and then we'll follow this entirely and just color it all in until we hit the wall over here perfect so now looking at the uh the right hand camera screen you can see the outer parts are all red while the inner parts have this big gap in them and that's going to be where the concrete goes in the black concrete at, at least so let's go back up to where we originally started this thing, where we have this bump in the top left of his hair. And we'll start working um, clockwise to the right um, until we reach the right ear, and we should be good to go. So um, the outer layer of each section right here is going to be colored in with nether brick, but I'm still going to do it with you guys. So first, let's go to the blocks that are directly connected to the first patch of nether brick we colored. And just curve out and color this entire swoop with the nether brick. So you can see this is where we started directly to the right of it we have this area right here to work with let's color that in do not accidentally color in this section right here where you see it's directly to the right of it there's a clear separation but they're really close we're only coloring this layer up here that goes up into the top and into that first spike so let's start coloring it all in Thank you.
Once you have that colored in, we're actually going to go and color this next patch over right here. Um, you can see there's like this little skinny line right here with the singles and then it goes a little bit fat right here. We're going to skip those, okay? So kind of just go to the tip of the, uh, the pointy part of his hair and just directly connect over. And this section over here is what gets filled in, okay? So we're going to fill that in. I'm going to probably time lapse me filling in all these little spots as well. Um, just because it's probably saved some time and, you know, you don't want to hear me just chatting while I fill in the rows. So yeah, we're gonna skip that inner part right there because that is part of the, where the black concrete goes. And make sure you only fill in this area and we're gonna follow it up there too as well with the nether brick. And this is the similar pattern we're gonna just do for the rest of this part, but I'm still gonna go over each part of the hair. So if you wanna skip ahead and you, you kinda get the point of it already, or if you see the thumbnail and you're able to follow along, once again, feel free to skip ahead to when I go over the colors and you should be just fine. Okay, so now this is filled in, um, we stayed within the coal. You might notice that down here, well, as we get closer and closer to the scalp, we kind of ignore our coal rule and we fill in these diagonals that go towards his forehead with the nether brick, all right? But other than that, everything stays within the coal. We don't go outside of that barrier. Once you have this entire um, tip filled in as well, we're gonna move exactly one layer to the right over here and fill this in again. So it's the same pattern as before. And if you see the right hand camera screen, you can see that there's still an inner layer that we have failed to colored. We, we have failed to color each time. And that inner layer is actually going to be all black concrete. Um, if you go down here as well, you can see that we do have this diagonal filled in with another brick just because it's a part of what we're coloring. But everything else stays within our border. All right. So it's kind of hard to distinguish, but you can just use your judgment as you're filling in to kind of just see that that slants into his forehead. So we're going to fill that in with another brick. Okay, so this one went a little bit longer than expected as you can see the hair kind of branched out even to the right But you can also see that we have this inner layer right here ignored and you can also see I keep saying you can also see Jesus um, <laughs> You can see where the next red should be because we're gonna skip this layer right here So the only other layer connecting to the current nether brick is actually down below right here so it curves down here and then goes all the way back towards his scalp, but stops short right there. So let's color that in as well. And I think we only have two more sections after we color this in. So this is directly below the finished uh, part we just did. So we fill this in as well. And then we have uh, the spikes on the side of his head, which mirror what we did on the left side. And then we have that little overlap of hair that goes by his ear. So I want to say we have two more segments to color with um, nether brick. And then we can only worry about the black concrete. Now I'm not going to do the black concrete with you guys. Like I said, every other part of the hair that we don't touch right now is going to be the black concrete. So once you actually have this done, it's going to be up to you guys to actually follow this segment with the nether brick. And then know what you're doing from there on out. It's almost impossible to fail it because I've colored in the skin of the ear and I'm going over the nether brick with you right now. So unless you're um, going a little bit too fast and you miss a section, everything else will be black concrete and there won't be any more errors. All right, so now we're done with this section. So let's zoom out a little bit. We have this little lightning box right here looking thing, but we also have the right side of his hair that mirrors what we did on the left side with the spikiness on the sides of the ear. So we're going to do that next. Um, kind of down, I guess it's also down from what we just colored. It goes to the outer part of his hair. You can see these two triangles, the outer triangle. So this big one over here 
it's going to be colored in with all of the nether brick and it kind of trails down to the bottom right here at that diagonal so we're going to make sure to color that in as well so let's just follow this entire curve all the way back up until it color um, connects with what we just finished and then i will show you the final section that we color in and then we will jump into the finished build and you guys will finally be done it's been a little bit over a month so i'm very very happy that you guys have stuck with me this long um, I'm probably not going to do the Rengoku tutorial just because the time lapse didn't do as well as I wanted it to. And it's probably too much work for me to invest my time into if the time lapse didn't do so well. So uh, from this point forward, I'm probably going to carry my videos like that where if the time lapse doesn't do too well, I'm sorry, but I'm probably not going to build it because I, I'm already getting hit by a Kappa and stuff. So if I um I can't overextend myself basically I can't make these videos I don't have the time to I don't get enough back out of them for me to justify the amount of time I spend on the videos I could in college but I can't do that anymore anyways once we finish this curve you can look at the right hand camera screen you can see how it looks and actually the final part we're gonna do is this slender line between the ear that kinda snakes back up into this lightning shape at the top there so if you want to actually start at the lightning shape at the top and color down, you can. Or you can curve, um, follow it all the way back down here to where it has it in the ear. And you have these two singles. Actually, it's about three singles. But we're going to go to these two that are in the bottom right corner right here and color those with the, the nether brick. This bottom left one is actually going to be black concrete, so we're going to leave that alone. We're just going to follow this and go up and to the left and color all of this going upwards. So let's see how that looks once we're done. All right, and that's it for the hair actually. So if you look at the right hand camera screen, everything is filled in in the hair and everything that's left there is going to be black concrete. Make sure not to accidentally color in the scar or this top right corner of his um, hair, I mean, or his skin. But we're actually going to show you that in the finished build. Also, don't forget when you're coloring the hair, these bottom left near his earrings, there are these two tufts of hair on each side, okay? But we're going to jump into the finished build and go over the colors. Thank you guys for tuning in. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. It has been a long one, but I feel like it's going to be very rewarding when you guys complete this tutorial. Okay, so now going over the colors, we are going to need pink terracotta, red concrete, nether brick, sandstone, white concrete, black concrete, gray concrete, oak planks, light gray concrete, and in the toolbar, you're going to want to put uh, lime terracotta in the, the clutch waiting. You might want to put two of them back there just so that you can have a splash potion of swiftness on you. I suggest putting the uh, reds away until you're ready to do the eyes and the mouth. But starting off from the bottom, we're going to be using the gray concrete and the terracotta and the black concrete and the light gray concrete, actually. So um, in the bottom left corner, we're going to do this part of the Hyori where we have these patterns at the bottom. We start with the lime terracotta, then gray concrete. Then we go up a layer and we have gray concrete followed by lime terracotta. Then we have this final triangle on the top left shoulder. That's going to be uh, gray concrete. And that's the same pattern that it follows in reverse on the right side. As you can see, starting from the right bottom layer, we have lime terracotta, then gray concrete. Then if you go up a layer, we have the gray concrete, lime terracotta, into the gray concrete up in the shoulder. And that's the outside jacket. Now on the inside where we have the shading and the collar and everything done, we're going to be using black concrete, gray concrete, light gray concrete, and white concrete. And you can kind of see we shaped out where the shading goes. So I would take the black concrete first and fill in all these areas where we had the shading done. We have this down on bottom left triangle kind of filled in right there. We also have this center on the right side just like this arrow pointed down in gray or sorry in black and we then have this u shape that comes from the center of his neck and kind of just um covers up this button we have on the center of his jacket or his shirt and that's going to be all gray i mean black sorry i keep saying gray now you can also see in the collar the inner part or the, part, the closest part towards the center on both sides we already shaped this out is going to be black concrete and if you want to swap the borders out with those, because I remember we did this with coal, you can swap it to black and make sure to color the in part 
of it with black concrete. Now once you're done with the shading, we can switch to the gray concrete and color everything else in on the jacket besides the button and this little badge on his chest. All right, those will be light gray concrete as you can see. And up here on the collar, the outer parts that you didn't shade will be dark gray concrete on both sides. And then the center part will be the white concrete. Once you have that completed, we can move up to the face. You can see in the bottom left and bottom right corners underneath his jaw, we have the oak planks kind of doing a shading part on the neck. And we just always usually do that. We usually use a darker block on the neck just because it's shaded, it's underneath his face, it's darker. Um, we're using this same shading block for underneath the chin and also above the nose. Also, inside the ears, both of them, and going up to the forehead in the top left where we shaped that part out as well, that's going to be dark, I mean oak planks as well. And that's actually all you're going to need to do with it. Once you're done with those, you can actually switch to the sandstone and color in the entire face and make sure you get the outside of the ears on both of them. I think we used birch planks, but I think sandstone was, is what I used. We can try using both. I wouldn't know. I haven't tried a birch. Once you're done with that, with the sandstone, make sure you get the top right part of his forehead. You can see where the scar is cut off. We have this little blotch right here. And then we have this little piece of five blocks that are just in this top right niche right here or this corner that is also going to be skin. If you miss this, it might be okay. I don't think it would be much of a difference. But, you know, some of you guys are perfectionists. Um, so you guys always like to make sure you're correct on that. Now, in the earring, we're going to color the top part of everything with light gray concrete and the bottom part with dark gray concrete or just normal gray. And that goes for the left ear as well. And then in the little tufts of hair on the bottom left and bottom right, you can see we just colored it completely with black concrete. Moving on to the tongue, we're going to use our pink terracotta for that. And that's the only place we're going to use pink terracotta because moving up to the eyes, we already shaped or um, kind of zoned everything out. The inner pupil is going to be white and the outer part is going to be white. But inside, the top layer is going to be nether brick and the bottom layer is going to be red concrete. And we already sectioned this all off, so it's fine. Same thing with the right eye. Inner pupil is white. Outer circle is white. Then we have the top layer, nether brick, bottom layer, red concrete, just to give his eye that double texture. Now the final bit we're gonna do is we already did the nether brick, so that saves us some time. Everything else in the hair, as you can see, is going to be black concrete. So once you color that all in, it should kind of just match up with what you already had. And that will be the end of the pixel art. Now I did use the outline for coal. If you wanted to swap the outline where we're coloring with black, with black concrete you can do that but I do think having the outline in coal lets you know where you actually did outline and where you're doing coloring so even though I don't have coal for the outline right here um, I think it's better for you guys to have that coal there so hopefully you guys did enjoy I think that's everything um, if you did um, if you need to pause and just complete your pixel art from here you can but I'm hoping you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more content. It might be slow um, until I can figure out what I'm doing with the channel. But I, I will still upload whenever I can or whenever I feel like it. And you guys seem to be okay with that sometimes. So hopefully you guys do enjoy. This is Phoenix. And as always, I'll see you guys later.